I always wanted to play around with the CAM bus in my car and now it's extremely simple using this. The first thing I did using this board was make this pedometer for my Tesla Model 3 and I love it. So let's talk about this thing. This is a companion board for ESP32 and it's probably the easiest way to get starting in accessing and manipulating a CAM bus. You plug it in, wire it up and you are good to go. This CAN shield was designed for the ESP32 dev kit board. It provides two main things, the ability to access and write CAN messages to a CAN bus and the ability to power itself directly from a car's battery. The first was done using a CAN transceiver that complements the ESP32 built-in CAN controller. The second was made possible using a buck converter that is efficiently stepping down the car battery 12 volts to a usable 3.3 volts. Aside from these two main functionalities, it hosts a range of protective circuitry for extra safe operation like reverse polarity protection in case the power wires were plugged up backwards, a resettable fuse for overcurrent protection in case a short was accidentally created, and added ESD protection to guard the CAN bus. The shield itself occupies very few ports, three to be more precise, leaving the majority of the GPIO free to use for other purposes. The CAN transceiver on the shield connects to GPIO 4 and 5 on the ESP32. A general purpose blue notification LED is available and connects to the GPIO 26 pin on the ESP32. There is also a red LED that turns on when the device is powered on and off when it's off, but this is connected directly to power and doesn't use any GPIO pins. Using the shield is straightforward. It plugs directly into the 30 pins ESP32 diff kit one board. On the side, it has four connections, CAN high, CAN low, 12 volts, and ground. CAN high goes to the CAN high on the car, same thing with the CAN low. 12 volts connects to the car battery or any seven to 24 volts power source, and ground connects to the power ground source. If you are curious to see this in action, here is the shield connected to my Tesla Model 3 CAN bus and powered by the car's 12 volts battery using a special wire harness made for Model 3s, since Teslas don't have any OBD ports. And here it is again connected to Hyundai SUV using the built-in OBD2 port. And now today's video sponsor, PCBWay. I have been using PCBWay for years and they are my go-to manufacturer for all my prototypes. I've been averaging a week from the time I place an order to the time I have them in my hands. I'm very happy with the quality so far, and ordering PCBs have come a long way, especially for hobbyists. So I encourage you to give them a visit. I will put a link to their site down below. Now back to the shield. On the software side of things, enabling CAN in the code is made easy using libraries like Collins 80's ESP32 CAN. Here's a quick example showing how to read and print CAN messages from the car. First, install the library. In the setup function, the CAN transceiver is configured as mentioned earlier, that's GPIO 4 and 5, then the CAN speed is set here. Then in the loop function, it continuously checks if any CAM messages are available. If yes, it prints them to the console. And here they are. The library has plenty of example on how to set filters, callbacks, and write to the bus. And since the ESP32 has built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the CAN messages can be sent wirelessly. And that is exactly how I did my speedometer. I sent everything wirelessly, extracted the speed, and showed them on the screen. And that's how easy it is to process and manipulate CAM buses using an ESP32 and this CAN shield. If you are interested in getting this CAN shield, I will leave a link to it. So thank you for watching and happy hacking!